to look back is to look forward. Years after I have left the University of the Western Cape, the slogan has been an integral part of my development. I am now a lecturer at the Sociology and Anthropology Department at Nelson Mandela University. My work focuses on health policy, health systems reforms, and gender in South Africa. I am a PhD candidate at the University of South Africa. My thesis evaluates the implementation of the National Health Insurance Pilot Program in Tuani District. I'm also a co-founder of the Plant Food Fund, a community fund which aims to address food insecurity exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic in Plattenberg Bay. Besides work, I'm a daughter, a sister, an aunt, and a friend. I arrived at the University of the Western Cape in 2008 from Plattenberg Bay with a bag full of hopes and dreams. Teaching and learning at UWC was centered around our lived experiences and how colonialism and apartheid continue to define them. We understood that the qualification we were pursuing carried the promise of a new dawn for ourselves, our families, and our community. The Gender Equity Unit at UWC became a lighthouse for me. It is here that my existence as a black woman was affirmed and nourished. Our afternoon conversations with Dr. Mary Haynes led us to critical texts written by black women. These texts ignited our feminist consciousness. The AQ drama Reclaiming the P-Word was a beautiful creative space. Using theater of the oppressed, we visited our childhood experiences with molestation, rape, violence, homophobia, displacement, and dysfunctional homes. Reclaiming the P-Word was not just a place of victimhood, weeping, despair, and pain. We learned about joy, sexual liberation, self, and collective care. We laughed, we sang, we danced, created long-lasting friendships, and took a lot of pictures. Thank you, GEU. You will always be my lighthouse near the still park gate. Advice to my younger self. Ndombi, take a break in between your studies. After graduating, go work or go home to rest. I have never taken a break in between my studies. After graduating with Masters in Public Health in New Jersey, through this Fulbright scholarship, I went straight into pursuing a PhD. My mental health suffered and I almost took my life. Ndombi, do not use excelling in academics as a mechanism not to deal with tra trauma. I was diagnosed with HIV at the age of 16. That same year, my brother was gunned down. Instead of working through these traumatic experiences, I committed myself to excel in my studies. Of course, there were rewards in working hard, but they never filled the void. Ndombi, spend more time with your grandmother while she's still alive. Sit at her feet and learn about her ways of being in the world. Archive how she built and maintained this family. Have a conversation with her about what kind of a woman she is besides being Umako. Ask her about her technologies of being. Resistance, prayer, making love and keeping sane. We often ask ourselves, how did the women of 1956 organized under the violent regime of apartheid? I believe that my grandmother, our grandmothers, have the answers. <laughs>